voices. I am about to, what am I about to do? I'm trying to figure out if I want tea or hot chocolate. I feel like I want to make some homemade hot chocolate, but I don't have marshmallows. And I need marshmallows and hot chocolate. I mean, don't need, but want. Um, maybe tea. We're probably going to do tea. latte if you just saw from those behind the scenes little clips um right now i am about to pour this into this pitcher so that i don't make a mess to try to pour it into my coffee mug um i'm going to talk while we do this because i feel like this is a good time i got my candelabras my candles it's just so melodramatic not melodramatic but i love um the black the black, um, what kind of candle are they? Taper candles? I don't know, matchsticks? Er, no, not matchsticks. Okay, don't judge me, please don't. I know the word, I just can't think of it right now. Okay, so I'm gonna pour some of this in here without trying to make a mess, okay. You all, guess what? I'm going home for the holidays. Okay, let's pray. Okay, you just gotta do it, right? Oh, by the way, this clear pot, I got on Amazon, I'll link it, but like it's my fave when I'm making drinks or something like a sauce or something that I wanna see. It's so cute. It doesn't really work well with like high temp heat. Like, cause I definitely saw some reviews of like, oh, mine shattered, but I haven't had any problems with it. I think it's been great. Um, ooh, ooh, ah. Okay. Of course, I'm spilling. I can never just pour straight. Like, I, I, since as a child, like, I truly, just one moment, let me get a wipe. I truly don't understand. But yes, I am going home for Christmas. Last year, y'all, that was my first year in LA and my first holiday season in LA but of course it was COVID and stuff so I stayed here for Thanksgiving and Christmas which was 
terrible because I was so sad. Like, my family, we are definitely like a Christmas family. Holidays in general, um, I think over the years, like, we haven't been as holly jolly, but I think definitely now since, like, my niece is here and she was a baby last Christmas. Now she's like a full on, like, almost three year old. So, um, she definitely is like finding out about Christmas and being holly and jolly with us and like looking at Christmas lights. So that kind of makes it special um, to go home and I'm excited. I'm also doing a pop-up. Okay, so I have that in my picture. I'm going to add some of my simple syrup. I don't think I have a strainer here. I think I have it at work. I'm pulling a rookie move. Ooh, or a funnel. Oh no, here's a funnel right here. <laughs> <laughs> um okay yeah let's do that okay so i'm gonna pour some of the simple syrup and then we can pour our matcha and simple syrup basically just helps like your sugar dissolve like i definitely can taste in drinks when people haven't dissolved um their sugar it just makes for a seamless sip I feel like that's pretty good. Um, let me maybe do a little more because this also is like still hot. The longer your simple syrup sits, like when you make it and like refrigerate it, because you can hold simple syrup for like a couple weeks in the fridge. Um, but since it's hot, it hasn't really had a chance to sit. So let's see what this tastes like because I really was just vibing on this. Let's see. Let me put this in the sink because it's cool sugar and everything will get crystallized okay okay so yes i'm doing a pop-up it is in dallas this weekend if you will be in dallas and you are looking at this definitely come by i am so excited it has been like two years since i've done a pop-up back home and i literally said after that christmas pop-up i was not going to do another one because look at this video i'm gonna put it like right here but that, it was so many people, y'all, that came. I did pre-orders, but then, like, also people were walking up. And that really made the logistics and operations real sketch. Like, people were waiting in line, like, for a long time. Like, it was crazy. I came outside, like, what is going on? Oh, let me show you that. Let me, let me show that. Let me show that. Oh, actually, let me record this, too. I'm like getting content for both, both for an IG reel and also this video. We are one woman show over here. But yeah, I went outside like, what is going on? And I was like, oh my gosh, the whole city showed up. <laughs> the entire city showed up, which was beautiful. Okay. Life of a content creator, right? Okay. This works. Hate the lighting, but whatever. Gonna do video. Actually, let's do a slow mo video. Very good. Okay. There we go. And that is my matcha at home. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, actually, let me stir this first. Okay, so this is a matcha oat milk latte with a lavender thyme vanilla simple syrup. So I infuse lavender, fresh lavender, fresh thyme, and fresh vanilla bean. So this should be fire. But yes, come through to the pop-up. I have two different days. One is a brunch menu, one is a dinner menu. The dinner menu is on Saturday, December 18th. The brunch menu is on Sunday, December 19th. Um, so I'm really excited. I was like, let's separate it so that it's not like as overwhelming. Okay. Very good. Very good. Cheers. A toast to you. All right, let's get to the vlog. Um, I'm trying to think like by now how I'm going to edit this vlog because I'm about to literally go sit down and edit. But by the time you're watching this, however you're watching it, is how I came up with it. So grab a snack and I'll see you soon. Okay, hold on. First, let me try this matcha.
be so high, I don't know. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all. This is so good. I can't even describe it because a lot of times at the coffee shops, I love matches, but I'm like, give me more simple syrup. And I don't want to have to ask for it. Now I got to be like that person that's like, oh, it's not sweet enough, you know? But this is like, I, honestly, I probably didn't have to add as much. Now I see this simple syrup is crazy. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Y'all. And also, I love the way this looks in my thing. It's like the color separation from like the oat milk with the matcha. It's a vibe. Oh my gosh, this is the most amazing matcha I have ever had. <laughs> of course, because it came from here. Ooh. Okay, let me get this. Oh my gosh, y'all, this matcha is crazy. <gasps> okay, let's get to the vlog. It's too much, it's too much. Y'all, when I tell you, I'm I'm really over the mask thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I am Saturday nighting. Um, I already went to dinner with one of my friends from college who was in town. We had like a light dinner and drinks, which was great. And now I'm headed to another dinner. <laughs> one of my other friends but i'm just gonna do dessert this is the thing about when you have dinner like plans with multiple people you just get something you know you get like a light app and then you get like a light cocktail and then a dessert so yeah we're about to dinner are going to Nueva which Issa talked about on Insecure so we want to see what they got over here let's see this place is such a vibe they jamming it's super cute We got a lote corn and then we have crispy cauliflower, Spanish rice, and Antonio got some tacos. I am headed to the grocery store. This is the fit to date. I have my chef coat. Um, yeah, let's go grocery shopping. Okay, so I am heading into Erwahan and this is the Venice location, but going grocery shopping just to get a few things. Um, let me just put this out here. Erwahan is not cheap, okay? But when I tell you they have quality meats and produce and just like things that you want to get at a grocery store, I mean, not the non-perishables, but for sure the meats and produce, yes. I ended up having a last minute client for today, so we are doing tacos and fried chicken that's what was requested we were in a beautiful home like i loved just the dishes and everything in here it made it 
super great for just cooking and serving. Um, I'm doing Chicago style fried chicken. And then I also made a homemade mild sauce because y'all know I spent some time in Chicago and I know the flavors of mild sauce. So that was great to make. I also love frying my chicken with onions, like sliced onions. I learned that from some women in Louisiana. And when I tell you, it does make a difference. These are the toppings and condiments for the taco bar. Everything from a mango pineapple salsa to avocado salsa verde to homemade tortillas. I mean, I didn't make them homemade, but I did go get them and they were homemade, so that counts. My client also requested asparagus, so I mean, they doesn't really go with like fried chicken and tacos, but whatever. The tacos, we did a shrimp, spicy ground turkey and like Sonora style chicken. And yeah, all the toppings from cotija to guacamole, limes, salsa, and then there's the mouth sauce, me in the works of doing that. That was a day at work. Now I am winding down and enjoying the night. Like, if you're not trying to move differently, if you're not trying to move in a specific way yeah. that can affect change, that can, like, change the game, you know, like, starting a restaurant, you know, starting a, a creating new ways in which, like, people can make art. Yeah. Like, if you're not looking to innovate in this city, but replicate, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I know... That is all for this vlog. I hope that you all enjoyed it. We ate... 
we worked, we rested, and now we are home. So the next video that you see will probably be from Dallas, Texas. Um, if you are in Dallas this weekend, don't forget to come to the pop-up this weekend. Go online in the description box and you can read all of the details. Place your order if that's your thing. And I will see you very, very soon. It's Christmas time. Let's start getting in the spirit, everyone. Okay, bye. Like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.